Good day, welcome to the Acer channel where we are having a look at some of the products that we sell. So let's just jump right into it. Today we're looking at another Zartic product, um, hot off the press as they would say, recently launched. Um, it is the ZA719. It says it is a high bright flashlight um, with a few fancy features. It looks quite nice, I haven't opened it yet. But it seems that it has a very bright LED in front with a little LED on the side. And the box says um, that it has seven modes of operation. Wow, it says it can do 500 meters um, on a pin lens, but on a wide lens it can do up to 250 meters. 2,500 lumens, it can zoom, spot or flood. Seven modes. It's got a power bank built into it and it is rechargeable via USB. Seems to be rainproof. Yeah, quite a few interesting things. Quite a mouthful, eh? Quite a mouthful. Let's have a look what's inside. As we open it up, we find inside we have two cells. Two spaces, obviously the charger, little booklet, and charging cable with the device. Okay, it is a fairly big device. This is very nice, um, very, very sturdy, it seems. Ideal for maybe like a guarding type um, application. It seems very good. Um, I suppose these go in here. Um, and yeah, because I haven't opened it up yet, it seems that I need to take the plastic off of the batteries. Let's quickly do that. Um, There you go, got rid of that one, quick. I like the fact that the batteries were nice and sealed um, when they were um, shipped. So you knew it's, so you know it's nice and fresh when you get it. Okay, so that's the second one taken care of. get the plastic off so much thumbling okay let's see what happens if we put the batteries inside I think the spaces inside are just for smaller batteries it seems um, because these batteries don't fit with the spaces so maybe if you use a smaller battery the battery supplied is a 26650 5000 milliamps I think the idea is the smaller battery, which is, I'm not sure of the code, 26, uh, I can't remember what the code is, is a 3500. So that's maybe the idea why they give you the spaces so that it can fit in there. I will maybe post something in the comments about that. Put the whole thing together. And um, yes, there you go. It seems ample zoom. Let's have a look at it. Immediately it comes on. Um, yes, this is a very bright torch. I, you probably cannot see it, um, but it is very, very bright. I certainly will go and do some tests tonight and maybe do a, a, a photo or two in the comments below. Um, of what I've found. I do like the fact that the battery indicator light stays on so you can see how full the batteries are charged, how much capacity is left. Um, what I also like is that it will switch to low beam um, and has different modes. Yes, that is the one on the side. 
So it makes this one nice. You can maybe put it down like that and you have a, a light ideal for us in South Africa with um, some load shedding issues. Um, it goes to dim and then oh, there's a red light on it as well. That is very, very nice. So you can put it down, carry it in your car and if there's an emergency, you can simply put this on the road for people to see. It is a very nice feature on this. It, you can also make it flash. Um, so let's say you stranded next to the road, you need to change a tire. You can just double click it there um, to go to red or maybe just to give off a warning. I'm just thinking of one of the applications, which is when you're stranded on the road, next to the road with maybe trying to exchange a tire. Yes, what I do like about this is the fact that this is a colorful lens or color changing lens, uh, uh, LED on there. Um, it is rechargeable um, through with the same cable that, that is supplied, um, but you can also use it as a power bank. So just to indicate, um, let's quickly just have a look at this. We will just take a a simple phone, plug it in with the supplied cable, and there you go. Let's see if it is as simple as that, as simple as plugging it in. There you go. It comes on and it shows that it is charging immediately. There you go. The red light indicates that it is charging. Fairly simple, it will also show you once you're drawing power from it that it is um, the, what the status of the battery is. I like it and then with the same with the same uh, cable you have an adapter which is my favorite or unfavorite two pin uh, which you can just plug into they're charging it indicates that it is charging showing an indication like that and I suppose when it stops flashing it'll show you that it is full what I have seen though is that the charger is only a thousand milliamp hour charger 5 volt or 1000 milliamp hour the box says it'll take up to 10 hours to charge it full Obviously, because it's got two batteries in it, that could be the reason why you need 10 hours to get it full. Um, duration that you could work um, with the device on the box, it stipulates um, that you will get up to 16 hours on high and on low up to 70 hours. Amazing. Oh, that is the side light. The high beam will give you two hours. There you go, two hours. The low beam will give you seven hours. Flashing on the side will give you 16 hours on uh, flashing. On high is 16 hours. Low will give you 70 hours. Red flashing, I'm not sure what exactly they mean here, but it seems like you can expect two hours on a full charge and on low about seven hours if you use the side one um, probably 70 hours on low and 16 hours on high that's ample power people ample power now it has a 5002 it has two of 5000 milliampere hour batteries which I suppose will probably be good enough for charging most phones full provided the battery is full I must say that the the whole device um, feels metal um, everything in it feels metal that is metal metal at the back um, even that is metal that is obviously glass um, the front part is metal as well and it has a nice feel to it so you can you can use it as a baton as well um, that will certainly cause some damage so there you go guys the ZA419 ultra bright flashlight um, I do like it. I'll go and do some tests and um, revert back to you and tell you what I think. I do like it. I do like the fact that it is a multi-purpose device. I think the era of, of having a single 
use device is gone. Um, I think we are past that now. So this is ideal where you can carry it in your car as an emergency power bank, as well as a torch, as well as a um, emergency indicator for if you get stuck next to the road. Awesome product. I like it. I the price is also not bad. Um, yes, thank you for watching. If you do have any inquiries, suggestions, you can share it in the comments below. Please like and subscribe these videos so you can get updates on the new products that we sell. And um, yeah, if you want me to test anything, if you want me to open anything, um, I can certainly have a look at it for you. Um, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe.